we will invite onto our stage first uh, our First Amendment inductees, and the first will be Joel D. Wallach. A doctor of veterinary medicine and a naturopathic doctor, Joel D. Wallach obtained a Bachelor of Science in Agriculture in 1962 and a doctorate in veterinary medicine in 1964, both in the University of Missouri. He earned a doctorate in naturopathic medicine in 1982 from the National College of Naturopathic Medicine in Portland, Oregon. Dr. Wallach has held key positions with leading zoos and universities in the United States and Africa. He's one of the founders and former editor of the Journal of Zoo Animal Medicine, and he's co-author of one of the leading treatises in veterinary medicine, Diseases of Exotic Animals, Medical and Surgical Management. In 1977, as a researcher at the Emory University Yerkes National Primate Center in Atlanta, Dr. Wallach discovered the world's first known cystic fibrosis case in a selenium, non-human cystic fibrosis case in a selenium deficient rhesus monkey. At the time, cystic fibrosis was believed to be the result of a human genetic disorder. Well, Dr. Wallach disproved that myth and established the condition to arise from a selenium deficiency. Dr. Wallach's discovery sent him on a 20-year search on the health benefits of selenium and other minerals. At one point, he became known as the mineral doctor and the father of liquid mineral supplementation. In 1997, Dr. Wallach and plastic and reconstructive surgeon Ma Lan founded American Longevity, known today as Longevity, one of the most successful network marketing companies in the world. And driven by his passion for nutrition and freedom, Dr. Wallach has challenged and defeated FDA censorship of critical nutrient disease relationship claims. His relentless efforts prompted the FDA to establish qualified health claims for selenium may reduce the risk of certain cancers, and omega-3 essential fatty acids may reduce the risk of coronary heart disease. Dr. Wallach and Longevity have been at the forefront of global efforts to ensure consumer access to information that can save lives. Dr. Joel D. Wallach. Ms. Richardson is providing his award medallion and his First Amendment Hall of Fame award, and we invite you to say a few words, and I regret to say, and all of you other awardees listen in, due to time, we want to limit your remarks to less than four minutes. Okay. Dr. Wallach. Okay, thank you. Uh, and God bless America. <laughs> okay, four minutes. Um, <laughs> the medical system has failed us terribly. And there's a lot of good individuals who are medical doctors, but the system has failed us terribly. And as individual Americans, we're going to have to take it back. We're going to have to be in control here. Each year, this is um, a, a fact and a figure that comes from the Journal of the American Medical Association and the Center for Disease Control, February 5, 2007, in a full-page article in the USA Today. It said, each year in America, medical doctors in America kill, injure, and infect 15 million Americans in a workplace, in clinics and hospitals. They kill, injure, and infect 15 million Americans each year. That would be war if any country did that, and here's one trade that does in their workplace. I actually called the um, um, OSHA and said, I want to file a claim. They said, you can't file a claim for that. So we only deal with employers and employees. Go sue them. And so we have a problem here. And so what we've done with longevity is try to educate Americans to the point where they can care for themselves to avoid getting into the system. I want you to think, each month, according to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the auditor of um, the uh, U.S. Health and Human Services, each month, medical doctors kill 15,000 seniors over the age of 65 with unnecessary tests. It's 180,000 a year. And that includes minor medical procedures like Joan Rivers, Andy Rooney, uh, Dick Clark, Neil Armstrong, and people like Robin Williams are all unnecessarily dead because of bad treatment. All the doctors got to walk. Nobody went to prison. Nobody lost one penny of income. We have to take it back from them. By educating ourselves, educating the people we love, educating America, we will save America. God bless America. Thank you, Dr. Wallach. Joel D. Wallach. <laughs> 